Hello, this is The Mexican, and I'm back with another review for you today. And today we're doing the Dibble Dabble Mozzarella Sticks. This is a classic American treat, so I've heard. I haven't been there, obviously, soon, though. Um, and we're going to try it with um, Fountain Tomato Ketchup. Um, they recommend a couple of sauces, the aioli, salsa, sweet chili, guacamole, and chipotle. Um, don't really have any of that except the ketchup. I would love to have it with guacamole, but um, don't see myself using it anytime soon, so just kind of sit there and it's a waste of money. But um, first we're going to try out one of the mozzarella sticks plain. I um, overcooked it a bit so you can see the mozzarella's leaked out quite a bit, but the quality will still be there, I suspect. Everybody knows I love my cheese, apparently that's become a bit of a meme here, but um, let's, let's give it a go. Having the first one plain, um, the um, it's an Italian herb breadcrumbs. You expect that to be a bit crispier, but it's just kind of it's not soft, but it's kind of um, I'm trying to remember what the texture's like. It's it's like something. It's not super crispy. It's not super. It's not soft either. It's, it's you know it's like some kind of midway point. It's not the best. I wanted some really crispy stuff. I suppose if you deep fry it, you might get that. I just haven't baked it. Um, I'm gonna go for another bite. Um, Now that's thick lashings of cheese. Mm, that's good. The, the cheese is pretty good in this, but um, yeah, no, the the, the breadcrumbs kind of let me down a bit. I wanted I wanted some super crispy stuff. I love the crisp. All in all, reasonably solid. Um, let's go with one with sauce this time. Okay, I've just dropped one entirely in the ketchup I have here, so I'm just gonna just gonna go with that one. This one's one of the ones with leaked out mozzarella too, so we'll try that. Okay, definitely goes a lot better with sauce. Yeah, if you've uh, got a favourite sauce. It doesn't recommend barbecue sauce, but I could, I could see this working with barbecue sauce. I could, I could do that. But, um, yeah, guacamole or chipotle would be my top pick. That, that'd be fantastic with it. Hmm. All right, let's have one that hasn't got the mozzarella leaks out of it because I didn't really get any contents in there. It was all just outside of it, so let's go with this one. And that'll do it for me. Um, pretty nice, pretty nice stuff. You get ten to a pack. Um, I think it was three dollars. I got it for half price, so it'd be six dollars, which is a, probably a bit steep. Three dollars, you can absolutely swing this. I'm um, trying to see if they've got a um, one of those health star ratings. That's becoming a thing in this, but um, they don't. So you can assume it's pretty unhealthy. Um, the breadcrumbs can't be that good, and the uh, the thick lashings of cheese probably don't help matters. But I think it's time for a rating. Um, yeah, like I said. The breadcrumb crust is not as crispy as I'd like. Goes well with sauce, and the cheese is pretty good. They've got thick and full amounts of cheese in there, which is ideal for a mozzarella stick, of course. Um, sometimes you get these kinds of things, and you know, you expect something, you just don't get the amount you like. But this delivers. This delivers in that department. Um, with sauce, it's much better. I think if you find your right dipping sauce, it's it'll be absolutely amazing. It's definitely a um. This is a definitely a sharing kind of thing. You don't know. Uh, <laughs> this doesn't replace a meal or anything. You know, you're not gonna, you're not getting a full feed out of this. But um, as for a rating, I'd give this um, probably six dibs out of ten devils. Um, yeah, pretty solid. Pretty solid. Uh, six dollars would be a stretch though. Um, for three dollars, can't complain. Yeah, that's alright. Um, wouldn't buy it for six though. Wait till it's on special. That's 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 my pro tip there. Um, once again, thank you for watching. This is the Mexican Review, and this is, of course, the Mexican signing off.